Welcome back, or if you're just now joining us, thank you for joining us. My name is Michael Dickerson, KC9PHK. I'm here on behalf of the Clay County Area Amateur Radio Club located in southeastern Illinois. This is going to be video number 12 of the 2018 to 2022 Technician Class Amateur Radio Question Pool. That went into effect July the 1st, 2018. These videos hopefully will be beneficial to many. Today we're going to cover sub-element T8B, T8C, and T8D. So let's go ahead and get started. T8B covers amateur satellite operation, Doppler shift, basic orbits, operating protocols, transmitter power considerations, telemetry and telecommand, satellite tracking. T8B01, what telemetry information is typically transmitted by satellite beacons? A. The signal strength of received signals. B. Time of day accurate to plus or minus one tenth of a second. C. Health and status of the satellite. Or D. All of these choices are correct. Correct answer is C. Health and status of the satellite. T8B02. What is the impact of using too much effective radiated power on a satellite uplink? A. Possibility of commanding the satellite to an improper mode. B. Blocking access by other users. C. Overloading the satellite batteries. Or D. Possibility of rebooting the satellite control computer. Correct answer is B. Blocking access by other users. T8B03. Which of the following are provided by satellite tracking programs? A. Maps showing real-time position of the satellite track over the Earth. B. The time, azimuth, and elevation of the start, maximum altitude, and end of a pass. C. The apparent frequency of the satellite transmission, including effects of Doppler shift. Or D. All of these choices are correct. Correct answer is D. All of these choices are correct. T8B04. What mode of transmission is commonly used by amateur radio satellites? A. SSB. B. FM. C. CW or data. And D. All of these choices are correct. Correct answer is D. All of these choices are correct. T8B05. What is a satellite beacon? A. The primary transmit antenna on the satellite. B. An indicator light that shows where to point your antenna. C. A reflective surface on the satellite. Or D. A transmission from a satellite that contains status information. Correct answer is D. A transmission from a satellite that contains status information. T8B06. Which of the following are inputs to a satellite tracking program? A. The weight of the satellite. B. The Keplerian elements. C. The last observed time of zero Doppler shift. Or D. All of these choices are correct. The correct answer is B. The Keplerian elements. T8B07. With regard to satellite communications, what is Doppler shift? A. A change in the satellite orbit. B. A mode where the satellite receives signals on one band and transmits on another. C. An observed change in signal frequency caused by relative motion between the satellite and Earth station. D. A special communications mode for some satellites. The correct answer is C. An observed change in signal frequency caused by relative motion between the satellite and the Earth station. T8B08. What is meant by the statement that a satellite is operating in mode UV? A. The satellite uplink is in the 15 meter band and the downlink is in the 10 meter band. B. The satellite uplink is in the 70 centimeter band and the downlink is in the 2 meter band. C. The satellite operates using ultraviolet frequencies. Or D. The satellite frequencies are usually variable. Correct answer is B. The satellite uplink is in the 70 centimeter band and the downlink is in the 2 meter band. T8B09. What causes spin fading of satellite signals? A. Circular polarized noise interference radiated from the sun. B. Rotation of the satellite and its antennas. C. Doppler shift of the received signal. Or D. Interfering signals within the satellite uplink band. 
Correct answer is B, rotation of the satellite and its antennas. T8B10, what do the initials LEO tell you about an amateur satellite? A, the satellite battery is in low energy operation mode. B, the satellite is performing a lunar ejection orbit maneuver. C, the satellite is in low Earth orbit. D, the satellite uses light emitting optics. Correct answer is C, the satellite is in a low Earth orbit. T8B11, who may receive telemetry from a space station? A, anyone who can receive the telemetry signal. B, a licensed radio amateur with a transmitter equipped for interrogating the satellite. Or C, a licensed radio amateur who has been certified by the protocol developer. Or D, a licensed radio amateur who has been registered for an access code with AMSAT. Correct answer is A, anyone who can receive the telemetry signal. T8B12, which of the following is a good way to judge whether your uplink power is neither too low nor too high? A, check your signal strength report in the telemetry data. B, listen for distortion on your downlink signal. C, your signal strength on the downlink should be about the same as the beacon. Or D, all of these choices are correct. The correct answer is C, your signal strength on the downlink should be about the same as the beacon. T8C covers operating activities, radio direction finding, radio control, contests, linking over the internet, and grid locators. T8C01, which of the following methods is used to locate sources of noise interference or jamming? A. Echo location. B. Doppler radar. C. Radio direction finding. Or D. Phase locking. Correct answer is C, radio direction finding. T8C02, which of these items would be useful for a hidden transmitter hunt? A, calibrated SWR meter. B, a directional antenna. C, a calibrated noise bridge. Or D, all of these choices are correct. The correct answer is B, a directional antenna. T8C03, what operating activity involves contacting as many stations as possible during a specified period? A. Contesting. B. Net operations. C. Public service events. Or D. Simulated emergency exercises. The correct answer is A. Contesting. T8C04. Which of the following is good procedure when contacting another station in a radio contest? A. Sign only the last two letters of your call if there are many other stations calling. B. Contact the station twice to be sure that you are in his log. C. Send only the minimum information needed for proper identification and the contest exchange. Or D. All of these choices are correct. Correct answer is C. Send only the minimum information needed for proper identification and the contest exchange. T8C05. What is a grid locator? A, a letter number designator assigned to a geographic location. B, a letter number designator assigned to an azimuth and elevation. C, an instrument for neutralizing a final amplifier. Or D, an instrument for radio direction finding. Correct answer is A, a letter number designator assigned to a geographic location. THC06. How is access to some IRLP nodes accomplished? A. By obtaining a password that is sent via voice to the node. B. By using DTMF signals. C. By entering the proper internet password. Or D. By using CTCSS tones. D. By using CTCSS tone codes. The correct answer is B. By using DTMF signals. T8C07, what is meant by voice over internet protocol as used in amateur radio? A, a set of rules specifying how to identify your station when linked over the internet to another station. B, a set of guidelines for contacting DX stations during contests using internet access. C, a technique for measuring the modulation quality of a transmitter using remote sites monitored via the internet. 
or D, a method of delivering voice communications over the internet using digital techniques? The correct answer is D, a method of delivering voice communications over the internet using digital techniques. T8 C08. What is the Internet Radio Linking Project, IRLP? A, a technique to connect amateur radio systems such as repeaters via the Internet using voice over Internet protocol. B, a system for providing access to websites via amateur radio. C, a system for informing amateurs in real time of the frequency of active DX stations. Or D, a technique for measuring signal strength of an amateur transmitter via the Internet. Correct answer is A, a technique to connect amateur radio systems such as repeaters via the internet using voice over internet protocol. T8C09, how might you obtain a list of active nodes that use VoIP? A, by subscribing to an online service. B, from online repeater lists maintained by local repeater frequency coordinator. C, from a repeater directory. Or D, all of these choices are correct. Correct answer is D. All of these choices are correct. T8C10. What must be done before you may use the Echolink system to communicate using a repeater? A. You must complete the required Echolink training. B. You must have purchased a license to use the Echolink software. C. You must be sponsored by a current Echolink user. Or D. You must register your call sign and provide proof of license. The correct answer is D. You must register your call sign and provide proof of license. T8C11. What name is given to an amateur radio station that is used to connect to other amateur stations to the Internet? A. A gateway. B. A repeater. C. A digipeater. Or D. A beacon. The correct answer is A. A gateway. All right. T8D. Non-voice and digital communications, image signals, digital modes, CW, packet radio, PSK31, APRS, error detection and correction, NTSC, amateur radio networking, digital and mobile migration radio. T8D01, which of the following is a digital communications mode? A, packet radio. B, IEEE 802.11. C, JT65, or D, all of these choices are correct. Correct answer is D, all of these choices are correct. T8D02, what does the term APRS mean? A, Automatic Packet Reporting System. B, Associated Public Radio Station. C, Auto Planning Radio Setup. Or D, Advanced Polar Radio System. Correct answer is A, Automatic Packet Reporting System. T8D03, which of the following devices is used to provide data to the transmitter when sending automatic position reports from a mobile amateur radio station? A. The vehicle speedometer. B. A WWV receiver. C. A connection to a broadcast FM subcarrier receiver. Or D. A global positioning system receiver. Correct answer is D. A global positioning system receiver. T8D04, what type of transmission is indicated by the term NTSC? A, a normal transmission mode in static circuit. B, a special mode for Earth satellite uplink. C, an analog fast scan color TV signal. Or D, a frame compression scheme for TV signals. Correct answer is C, an analog fast scan color TV signal. T8D05, which of the following is an application of APRS, Automatic Packet Reporting System? A, providing real-time tactical digital communications in conjunction with a map showing the locations of station. B, showing automatically the number of packets transmitted via PACTOR during a specified time interval. C, providing voice over internet connection between repeaters. Or D, providing information on the number of stations signed into a repeater. Correct answer is A, providing real-time tactical digital communications in conjunction with a map showing the location of stations. T8D06, what does the abbreviation PSK mean? A, pulse shift keying. B, phase shift keying. C, packet short keying. Or D, phased slide keying. Correct answer is B. Phase 
shift keying. T A D zero seven. Which of the following best describes DMR, also known as digital mobile radio? A. A technique for time multiplexing two digital voice signals on a single 12.5 kilohertz repeater channel. B. An automatic position tracking mode for FM mobiles communicating through repeaters. C. An automatic computer logging technique for hands-off logging when communicating while operating a vehicle. Or D. A digital technique for transmitting on two repeater inputs simultaneously for automatic error correction. Correct answer is A. A technique for time multiplexing two digital voice signals on a single 12.5 kHz repeater channel. T8D08. Which of the following may be included in packet transmissions? A. A checksum that permits error detection. B. A header that contains the call sign of the station to which the information is being sent. C. An automatic repeat request in case of error. Or D. All of these choices are correct. And the correct answer is D. All of these choices are correct. T8D09. What code is used when sending CW in the amateur bands? A. Bought out. B. Hamming. C. International Morse. Or D. All of these choices are correct. Correct answer is C. International Morse. T8D10. Which of the following operating activities is supported by digital mode software in the WSJT suite? A. Moon bounce or Earth, Moon, Earth. B. Weak signal propagation beacons. C. Meteor scatter. Or D. All of these choices are correct. Correct answer is D. All of these choices are correct. T8D11. What is an ARQ transmission system? A. A special transmission format limited to video signals. B. A system used to encrypt command signals to an amateur radio satellite. C. A digital scheme whereby the receiving station detects errors and sends a request to the sending station to retransmit the information. Or D. A method of compressing the data in a message so that information can be sent in a shorter time. Correct answer is C. A digital scheme whereby the receiving station detects errors and sends a request to the sending station to retransmit the information. T8D12. Which of the following best describes Broadband HamNet, also referred to as High Speed Multimedia Network. A. An amateur radio-based data network using commercial Wi-Fi gear with modified firmware. B. A wide bandwidth digital voice mode employing DRM protocols. C. A satellite communications network using modified commercial satellite TV hardware. Or D. An internet linking protocol used to network repeaters. Correct answer is A. An amateur radio-based data network using commercial Wi-Fi gear with modified firmware. T8D13. What is FT8? A. A wideband FM voice mode. B. A digital mode capable of operating in low signal-to-noise conditions that transmits on 15-second intervals. C. An 8-channel multiplex mode for FM repeaters. Or D. A digital slow-scan TV mode with forward error correction and automatic color compensation. Correct answer is B. A digital mode capable of operating in low signal-to-noise conditions that transmits on a 15-second interval. T8D14. What is an electronic keyer? A. A device for switching antennas from transmit to receive. B. A device for voice-activated switching from receive to transmit. C. A device that assists in manual sending of Morse code. D. An interlock to prevent unauthorized use of a radio. Correct answer is C. A device that assists in manual sending of Morse code. Alright, that concludes video number 12. One more remaining in this series. Please continue to review them as you need them. Hopefully you can pass your technician test after completing them all a few times. A little reminder, these slides may be used for non-commercial use for amateur radio license preparation and amateur radio classes with reference to the Clay County Area Amateur Radio Club as the developer. Also, we ask that you please reference our website, www.claycountyradio.webs.com, and would also encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have not already. And I want to thank you again.